Robertson, this is San Diego Made, San Diego Proud, where we salute the organizations that are really making a contribution to our community. And heading that list is Father Joe's Villages, which has been dedicated to helping the homeless residents of San Diego for decades, providing services to individuals and families, including the many homeless children living in San Diego. Deacon Jim Vargas is the CEO of Father Joe's Villages, and throughout this year he has introduced us to guests who really inspire us to get involved and help support our homeless neighbors. And today, we welcome a very special guest who is Eli Schneider. Welcome Eli and Eli's mom, Betsy. So let's talk about how you guys have participated with Father Joe's Villages. And Betsy, you were saying this all started with Eli's sixth birthday. What happened on that day? Last year, Eli decided that he wanted to donate money to Father Joe's Village. So we set up a GoFundMe page. And we had a goal of collecting $100, and Eli collected $620. Wow. And then you were able to present it to Father Joe's Villages and help the homeless, and it was Eli's idea, right? So, Eli, you said that you, uh, I don't know if Eli feels like joining us on, in the interview today, but, Eli, you wanted to help the homeless people, right? Yeah. Okay. And you did a great thing. So, Betsy, let's talk about what it is that you're doing this year, because, again, you're participating with Father Joe's. For Eli's seventh birthday, he decided he wanted to collect stuffed animals, to bring to the people at Father Joe's Village so they would have something cuddly to sleep with at night. Great. Fantastic. Well, good luck with the drive. I understand he's collected like uh, 190? 196. 196 stuffed animals. That's Deacon amazing. Jim, this is fantastic to see Eli's participation. And we were talking just before we went on the air. Uh, we've had people from seven years of age to almost 90 that have joined us on the segments talking about how they can contribute. And the fact of the matter is everybody can help. They can. It doesn't matter the age. And Eli and I were speaking before, before this segment. And last year, he collected the money for the Therapeutic Child Care Center for the children right. there. So I asked him this year what he was targeting. So, Eli, you told me the stuffed animals are for whom? What, what, did you say just for the, is it just for the children? They're for the grown-ups, right? No, they're for the grown-ups as well. Yeah, so, these are, so I got a kick out of the fact that it's for the adults as well, and this is great. And you're right, all ages can participate. And this is especially a season of giving. Right. And so people, there are many ways of giving. Of course, there are cash donations, um, donation drives. Mm -hmm. With various types of donations. That's a great idea. That's a great way for you to get your neighbors involved. That's exactly right. Yeah. Just like Eli has. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I would encourage people to to just come by, come by and visit with us. Mm -hmm. We love giving tours and showing people the great works that that uh, happened down at Father Joe's Village. Neighbor.org, neighbor.org is the website. One eight hundred homeless. The phone number. Now let's talk about all the activities that are going on this week. This is maybe the most visible week for Father Joe's Villages. People aware of what's going on. Tell us a little bit about the activity. And actually, it's been the last few weeks. We've had a lot of different activities for the kids and for the adults and so forth. But this week, we will have two meals on Christmas Eve. And one is at 11 a.m. and the other one is at 5 p.m. That's mm -hmm. our Christmas meals. Um, we have a Christmas Eve mass, actually. We'll start with uh, carols. And then there'll, have, there'll be a mass at the village. Father Joe Carroll will be presiding. Great. And I'll be there as the deacon. And after the mass, everything will go dark and we'll have a candlelight procession out to the manger. So that's going to be a lot of fun uh, as well. So there are a lot of things happening. And there are so many different ways that you can participate. As uh, Deacon Jim had mentioned, and you can contribute, you can donate, you can volunteer, and that's you right. can shop the thrift stores. An ample number of ways to participate in this very worthwhile cause. Absolutely. This special time this I season. would encourage it. I would right. encourage it. Okay, terrific. Eli, good luck with the drive with the stuffed animals. Great to meet you. Great to have you on today. Thanks Thank you coming. so much. Thanks this is coming. wonderful. Again, the <laughs> website is uh, neighbor.org. Get a chance to learn about all the programs of uh, Father Joe's Villages. We've been fortunate to meet Deacon Jim to participate in some of the events this year. Always a pleasure to help out in any way that we Thank can. Thank you. I appreciate it. You can by calling 1-800-HOMELESS or going to that website right now, which is neighbor.org.